Hi, don't mind me and my beloved houseplants, which I definitely overwater and now they don't seem to be blooming anymore. I don't even know what kind of plant this is. I got them for free on Facebook Marketplace, so... But alas, spring has come. No, actually, we're in the beginning of June, so this is definitely not an appropriate time to make a spring lookbook. So yeah, without further ado, let's kick this shit off or else I won't be able to upload this until like the middle of October. Okay, so starting off strong with the first outfit for our spring lookbook and we have this green nature vibe going on. I know, flower for spring, grab breaking. But um, I love the mint green color on the dress pants and they're paired very nicely with the leafy tank top layered on top um, of the net shirt. And I actually wore this outfit to um, the Garfield Conservatory Garden once and while I was on the train, an old guy tried to videotape me and that's how I knew that I got a killer outfit on hand because like he's, he's old, right? So he's seen some crazy shit in his life and to be blown away by this outfit is just the biggest compliment one can receive. <laughs> the nice thing is that you can wear this next shirt on top too. So you literally got a two-in-one deal in this outfit. <laughs> so crazy, right? <gasps> and I have one last secret weapon. My red pair of no, my pair of red sunglasses, and I feel like the red complements the green really well because they're like opposite of each other on the color wheel, so they're complementary colors. We love against them. Um, so yeah, I got some red going on. You know, like I, I like a little edge, a little pop of color, especially for the Tivo party. Okay, so look number two. The base of the outfit is pretty basic, just track pants and sweater vest. And then I also decided to throw on a hoodie on top just in case that you get cold at night, which you will 100% if you live in Chicago. And um, yeah, but then that alone still makes the outfit a bit like bro-ish, if you know what I mean. So I decided to swap out my sneakers for a pair of Mary Janes. Look at this instantly make the outfit more interesting and a tote bag because to me this outfit is not serving enough so a tote bag will serve as like an invisible cloak where it sends a message to other people that i do not want to be perceived that's the vibe i'm going for now like sometimes it's okay to blend in even though the leo and verbal cusp in me is screaming inside to bow down to me when i arrive and also and also add sunglasses just to look cool and casual like this is the first thing you threw on in the morning while running errands today. So baby girl, this you taken? Ugh, disgusting. Anyway, so this is probably my favorite outfit from the lookbook. I would totally wear this on the med steps and just sit there serving cuntiness. Like, duh! I'm not going to fashion school. I'm not just a little girl anymore. Yeah. So I'm really into like academia, aesthetic, and subgenres, probably because I was a bogo back in high school and I didn't have the confidence to wear these kind of outfits. So now I'm totally compensating for it. And also the denim jacket is from Levi, which I got from a sample sale at um, Rent the Runway. And it was so cheap, like $30, and I got so many compliments on it. And I totally look like I belong in a Korean boy group. like what position would I be? Like, I think I would be the vocally talented, but sometimes can be kind of dumb. Yeah. Okay, look number four. And to me, this green spring the most because of the color palette. And I think, and it actually reminds me of the photos I've seen from Copenhagen Fashion Week where bright colors and checker patterns are utilized a lot. And I chose to go for this while like jeans because they are more casual comparing to like chinos or dress pants. And for this checker cardigan, I think it's pretty tricky to pull off because 
there's for this item particularly there's like a fine line between having your own personal style and just following micro trends on tiktok so um i guess i i hope i pulled this off so yeah that's our outfit number four i would definitely wear this brunch and now i'm hungry goodbye Okay, so our next outfit is what I call the Rachel Berry outfit because the colors are very childlike but then the items and silhouette definitely have a more conservative feel to it like if you replace the color palette with something more subtle like beige and baby blue and you've got yourself a Jesus loving suburban mom Hashtag wow I absolutely adore these jeans that I got from Gloria Vanderbilt. I thrifted them two years ago and I got so many compliments on it. I feel and I, I always feel like a glossier employee whenever I wear these just because of the pastel pink. Very cute. And I also have some little accessories going on. I have this um, heart shaped ring just to play into like the um, Rachel Berry vibe. So, yeah. That's our fifth outfit, moving on. Our next outfit is the signature model off duty look, which gives off a message that you're casual but effortlessly cool. And I tend to shy away from blazers just because they can be quite formal for me sometimes. But, and the last thing I want to do is to look like someone who sells their body and soul for a corporate job. Oh wait, that's me. But why do you think I'm doing this? Like, make me a star! Please, I'm a star! And I think any type of um, ripped jeans paired with graphic or a pattern shirt with a blazer on top will create this very cool um, juxtaposition, as Miss Best Dress would say. Voila! Now you are a model, but do you have what it takes to become a top model? This is probably the cuntiest outfit of this lookbook and I got inspiration from this Bella Hadid. And I feel like it's the perfect balance between like casual and extra because here you have three layers going on but since you're not tucking or buttoning anything, you still have this like I don't give a fuck attitude. Like, ugh, the power of styling. Um, and this dress shirt is a DIY project of mine from New Year's Eve, where I cut the left sleeve and the half and half the collar and use safety pins to attach them back together. I feel like it adds a punk vibe to it, since punk is all about like um, anti-consumerist beliefs and the do-it-yourself ethic, which I'm all about. And I don't know why, but I feel I feel like a baddie in this outfit. Like I want to break things and burn my tax forms. I'm just kidding. I finished my taxes, but hell yeah. So I feel like I feel like a vegan almond mom in a spring picnic in this outfit. Like the only thing missing here is a straw hat. So orange and navy is one of my favorite color combinations because. They're, again, they're a complementary color and I just love pairing two opposite colors together like my taste in a partner. Girls. And I think this outfit is pretty practical for springtime in Chicago because you are letting your legs get some cool breeze while keeping your upper body warm in this wool cardigan. Um, I like it too because I get to show off my twig leg calves which as you can see, I don't even have like Jason skip. This ninth outfit has been my go-to ever since it started raining more frequently last week and I actually wore this one to the zoo and it definitely gave off a sketchy vibe like, <laughs> like I'm doing drugs under this trench coat um, The pants are my most favorite recent thrift find and I don't know why but I've always had the best luck at the pants section in thrift stores like the lengths and waist fit me like a glove this never happened to me when i was still shopping at h&m or zara like the pants were either too long or too big for me it's like it's like it was born for someone else's sloppy seconds um the hat is definitely a nice touch to it because it adds a low-key vibe like i'm not trying to impress anyone with this outfit but that's only what i want you to think you peasant the, the trench coat is a steal too. I got this for $2 at a thrift market in Vietnam and 
so far it is the most versatile piece in my wardrobe like you can do so many different styles with this like from sophisticated to perverted our last look for our lookbook I should have worn this instead to the zoo because it has a safari vibe and even my puffer vest has reindeers on it um, but notice how I started the lookbook with a nature print and now I'm ending it with animal patterns like the art of storytelling my friends no that was not the intention I just came up with it on the spot but pretty genius um, yeah, so this is normally how I would do a monochromatic look. So not everything in the same color, but rather different shades of one color. And this outfit definitely has a streetwear style kind of feel to it because of the cargo pants and puffer vest, which is not my usual style at all. My go-to styling option is either uh, loose bottoms and tight-fitting tops or the other way around. And and I normally don't go for this style, but if I do, I want to add something cute like this puffer vest with animal prints on it just to like still be on brand. And that's it guys, 10 outfits for our spring lookbook. Wherever you are, let it still consider spring. Comment down below which one is your favorite and definitely subscribe so I have more motivation to post videos or else you will all be getting a summer lookbook in December. Toodles.